This is the brand new Lenovo LOQ Gen 8 82XT004KIN. So let's unbox this beauty and take a first look at it. What I have here is the Ryzen model with the Nvidia graphics and I paid around 97,000 for this and I'll have the links in the description. Now in the box you get the laptop which is beautifully packed and you get a 170 watt charger and some paperwork. Now unboxing wise there's nothing really exciting but the laptop itself is really good looking. This has a very minimal design and some people may like it, some people may not but I personally prefer it. I love the finish, the color and the subtle blue accent on the back is just awesome. Now after the unboxing one thing that I'm immediately noticing is that it is heavy. It's not too much but it sure is noticeable. Now the build here is quite solid and I don't see any major flexing which is a huge positive according to me and the port selection is amazing on this machine. There's an electronic camera shutter switch, a single USB 2.0 port, one USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port which is a display port 1.4 and it also supports charging at 140 watts. There's two USB-A's which are 3.2 Gen 2 ports, a HDMI 2.1, Ethernet jack, headphone mic combo and a power in port. And in my opinion, these are a solid set of ports which support modern technology and I really like the placement of all these ports. Now this is very convenient because you can now route your charging cable, your HDMI, main USB ports at the back without hindering your left or right. And if you want to connect small stuff like dongles and stuff like that, you can actually put it on your left or right without any issues. And this is really sensible port placements. Now, when we take a look at the specs here, we have the Ryzen 7 7840HS, RTX 4060 at 115 watts, 16 gigs of DDR5 dual channel RAM clocked at 5600 MHz. You get a 512GB PCIe Gen 4 SSD, a 15.6 inch Full HD 144Hz IPS display at 350 nits. You get Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.1, a 1080p webcam and a 60 watt hour battery. Now for the price you're paying, the specs here are incredible. And as you're watching this video, testing has already begun, so it's in progress. So make sure you subscribe cause the review is coming soon. So you don't want to miss that. Now, anyways, talking about the display here, you get a 15 inch anti-glare IPS display. It is 144 Hertz and they claim it covers 100% of the sRGB spectrum, but we'll have to test that too. But on first look, the display is pretty good and bright, but I feel like the anti-glare coating is a tad bit too much. Now, when you look at the display off axis, it feels like there's a slight bit of dimming. Even though this is IPS and that should not happen, I think it's because of the anti-glare coating, there's a slight dimming, but maybe I'll again, check it out, do the testing and let you know. And one gripe I have is that this is not a 16 is to 10, but rather a 16 is to 9 display. Having that extra vertical space would have been good, but yeah, considering the price, I think this here is good. Now talking of the keyboard, you get a full size keyboard here and I have to say, I love the typing experience. Now I'm a person who most of the time uses a full size keyboard like this and coming from that, you know, this layout was kind of different and I took some time to get used to it, but the typing experience is good. It was tactile with a little mush, but it was not too mushy, but just a little like a little, it was tactile, but you could still feel that mushiness in that. But again, just using it for some time, you can't give your full look on that. So I'll again, testing is going on, we'll definitely let you know. Now talking about the trackpad, I personally feel this here is a really solid trackpad. The tracking was really good and all the gestures worked without any issues. So I personally feel like this here is a really solid trackpad. And with that said, I've been using this laptop for a few hours right now and I have to say I really love this laptop and to be honest I am excited to test out this beast. I mean for the price for 97,000 so for nearly a lakh you're getting amazing specs, really solid build and a lot of other good stuff. So I am excited to be testing this out and making a review for this because to be honest I personally feel like this is good value for money. So make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss this review which is coming soon. And if you have any questions revolving around this laptop, definitely let me know and I will address them in the review. 
And with that said, thank you for watching. And this year is Suman signing off once again. Catch you later.